guys welcome back and today we are doing a very exciting video on a very exciting topic which is operators. There are so many operators which are dealt in python but today we will be dealing about the arithmetic operators. So before going into the video I just wanted to say that I have completely changed my platform in which I was coding my python programs because when I watched my previous video I found out that the background screen color was in black so that the text which was shown in that was not that very clear. So my first priority is you guys because I just wanted to give a clear content to you so that you can make use of my video to learn the python series much more clearly. And that's why I have installed another version called this python 3.7.7 from shell and this is also is completely free to download and since this version had a white background I opted for this because this white background makes the content much clearer to reach you. So that's it guys let's move into the video and in python there are seven arithmetic operators and the first four arithmetic operators are already familiar to you guys it's like addition, multiplication, uh, subtraction and division. Let's see some programs using those first four arithmetic common arithmetic operators. So first here I am just texting 5 5 plus 99 plus 64 plus 1000 plus 85 and so on. So this addition operator is so so familiar to you. It simply adds all the numbers and gives you the output. Here in order to get the, get the output you have to just press enter. So when I press enter the output is displayed. And let's see what happens when we use this addition operator in variables. So if h is equal to 5 and n is equal to 63 and if I wanted to add both h plus n it's just h plus n and press enter gives you the output. So that is all about the addition operator in python and next we will be moving to subtraction which is also familiar to you guys. As I have told you before the first four operator is already familiar to you and this subtraction operator simply subs all the numbers which you have given and finally it gives you the output like 65 minus 55 minus so so minus so so. So let's see what happens when I press enter. Yeah, it gives you the result. Now, when I put them in the variable, like n is equal to 5, ng is equal to something like this, and if I minus both m and g, let's see what happens. It gives you the result. And next, our third operator is multiplication. So if I multiply some number like this, and if I press enter, it gives you the result. And when I put them in variable, let's see what happens h is equal to something and f is equal to 55 to 1 and if I if I if I multiply both h plus h into f h into f let's see what happens that's it and finally our well known operator is division and here the division is expressed using the backslash and as you all knew that division simply divides two numbers and gives you the output here is the output so let's see what happens if division is used in variable so h is equal to some number like this and c is equal to some number like this when I divide both of them using division symbol which is backslash h backslash c yeah it gives you a perfect output and next our fifth new operator is modulus and the symbol of the modulus is this one and the working of the modulus is it divides two numbers and instead of giving you the answer it gives you the reminder of those two numbers. I repeat, the working of the modulus is it divides two numbers and instead of giving you the answer, it gives you the reminder of those two numbers. 
for example 7 modulus 2 so what happens here is it divides both 7 and 2 and instead of giving you the answer it gives you the reminder which is 1 so let's see what happens when we use modulus in variables if s sorry x is equal to 55 or 45 and y is equal to 2 and x modulus y becomes like it divides 45 and 2 and instead of giving you the answer it gives you the reminder which is 1 okay that's it guys and our sixth new operator is exponential and the symbol given for exponential is two stars like this and the working part of exponential is also like so easy to give you an quick example let me say that 2 to the power 3 and what happens is 2 is going to be multiplied 3 times like 2 into 2 into 2 which gives you 8. This same working only is been applied for this operator. I am going to give you the same numbers 2 exponential 3 and what happens is 2 is being multiplied 3 times like 2 into 2 into 2 and the answer is obviously 8. So let me give you another example 3 exponential 2 and here 3 is going to be multiplied 2 times 3 into 3 which is 9 and that's the working of the exponential operator now let's see what heck it exponential operator does in variables h is equal to 5 and j is equal to 2 and if h exponential j here 5 5 is stored in h and in j 2 is being stored so 5 is going to be multiplied 2 times which is 5 into 5 which is 25 and that's it guys and our final operator in arithmetic is flow division operator and the symbol for this flow division operator is given like this the two backslashes symbolizes the flow division operator and the working of the flow division operator is also two simple it just divides two numbers and it rounds off the result down to the nearest whole number for example 15 flow division to 2. Here the flow division operator divides 15 and 2 and gives the output to be the nearest whole number which is 7. And let's now put this flow division operator in the variables. If g is equal to 44 and n is equal to 2 and if g flow division to n what happens is 44 flow division to 2 which means this flow division operator divides 44 and 2 and gives the output to be the nearest whole number or nearest round of number which is 22 and that's it with our video guys i hope the entire content was clear to you if so then do give it up a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for a future upcoming videos